All right, so the gist of today, a little bit of a different approach. We've gone through a whole bunch of key elements of the approach to doing a big ride, Fondo. We call it big ride. That is actually where the concept came from. So you can also think of it just even when you have a big goal with your friends. It may not be an organized event uh, such as a Fondo, but a lot of the same things can apply when you're with a big group. So today, what we're just going to present to everybody is what I call Plan B. Okay, happens to us all a lot. We've trained, we've prepared, we've gone through our Fondo training, we're prepared for our cruxes, our long climbs, our pace lines, all of that. But in this workout, we're just gonna have a little bit of a blip in the early minutes, let's say, of our event. And how we're gonna cope with that and what might be some scenarios that we're going to be presented with. Okay, so just <clears throat> right off the get-go, after our warm-up, we're going to have a little uh, incident and we're going to go through some strategies of coping with that. Okay, so I'll talk about that in the break just after the structured piece here. Right now, bring your gear from wherever you were, three out of 10, five out of 10, right up to your five. First of all, just for the best part of this last minute, 50%, you weren't already there. You're at preferred cadence. And let's just do a quick little top to bottom. Relax shoulders, arms, hands, thinking about and feeling how our legs feel today. All right, we're gonna bring it up to our 60% number, using around the same cadence, shortly. <clears throat> and the cadences today are gonna be a lot of your own choice. I'm gonna be cueing you on some efforts, simulations, but a lot of your own cadence and feeling through that. So this is an opportunity. I was talking about this with one of the riders I coach just the other day, but talking about giving you the ranges to work with and then you finding your happy places, your sweet spots, all of that. And it can be different between people, different gear choices. So practice a little bit, feeling it for yourself. You're gonna be doing that a bit today. Okay, so 60%. Just a little gear, just sorry, just a little cadence increase. Gonna happen in 10 seconds. You're at your preferred cadence. We're gonna bring it up a little bit. I'm in the mid 90s. All right, if you're still not using a cadence meter, you can count, of course. So here, we're in that 22 sort of pedal strokes every, if we're counting one leg, okay? Here we go. We're gonna bring it up, five RPM, in two, one, up, up, little bit of a push into the pedals, little bit of stimulation on a quick turnaround. Good. Best part of 30 seconds. And then we're gonna be bringing our gear up. Okay? All right, in five, two, one, back to your preferred cadence. Back down to that comfortable place that you feel you generate your power efficiently, whatever it is that you're doing, particularly on a flat in this case. Okay, bring up the gear, 70%. Little bit more gear. Actually, it's quite a bit more gear, but bring it up to your seven out of 10, 70% number. It's under your functional threshold power, your hour power. You've got that bit of gear in there, except that new workload, load against the muscles. Think about the power through your feet to your pedals, let your ankles move, all of those good things. Another whole minute here. Awesome. 
Think about your front, I guess, cockpit here. Think about being relaxed, not pushing down on the handlebars. Nice and light, core engaged. Okay, 70%. Holding on to it. Words come in a little bit uh, less comfortable manner. We're comfortably uncomfortable for 30 more seconds. Then we'll get a little bit more uncomfortable by increasing our cadence. Okay, hold it right here. Relax shoulders, eyes up. And in 10 seconds, bring it up that five-ish RPM. In three, two, one, up, up. Good job. Just thinking about the leg speed, it does bring in more effort, more push. But if you focus on the leg speed component, that somehow comes a little bit more easily. More velocity. 10 seconds. Hold on to it. Three, two, back to your preferred cadence. 30 more seconds here. Okay, we're gonna do one big push up to our eight out of 10. We're not gonna make it long. One big push coming. Using your gear. Your comfortable cadence. In three, two, and bring it up. Come on. One minute. Take your time in getting there. Feel it for 30 seconds, and then we'll back off. Good job. On everybody. Almost at halfway. Play around with the cadence if you like. Back off the gear a little bit. A little bit more cadence to generate the same power. Less than 30 seconds to go. Really good, guys. 15. Okay, big push. Just right through to the end now. In five, three, two, and let it go. Back off the gear. Legs turning nice and fluidly. <clears throat> always, always going to revert to thinking about our pedal stroke, the cleanness of it. Forcing ourselves to engage our core. <clears throat> While you're in an easy gear right here, a few more breaths, then I'm gonna get you to unclip. Unclip your right side first, pedaling with your left leg, and I just want you to feel the perimeter of the circle. It'll be easy in the beginning. If you're in too hard a gear, it'll be easier at the start because it helps you feel the perimeter and then it'll start to get more challenging. <clears throat> okay, unclip, two, one. Nice easy gear, dangle your leg, think about your center, think about holding yourself strong. Let the ankle move, pulling back into the circle. Nicely done. Good. As you start to lose it, really focus on the up. Focus on pulling through on the bottom and up, 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 up. Let's keep it going. Another 15 seconds. That's where it gets really tiring. Really feel those hip flexors. All right, keep it going. We don't want your body moving all over the place. Try and focus on the circle. Last little bit, three, two, one. Back to two pedals. <laughs> okay, that was my weak leg. I'm glad to get that one over with. All right, uncle the other side. 
Same thing. Not too hard a gear. Sometimes challenging in the easy gear to actually feel the 360 degrees, but then <clears throat> we want to just focus on the upstroke. Really see a lot of the time when I'm coaching people in here, around now, around 20 seconds is where we start to see a little bit of this. We want to focus on keeping this centered. We want to focus on the shoulders forward and we want to get through by thinking about the bottom of the pedal stroke and up around the back. That's hip flexors, that's hamstrings. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds. Awesome. Keep it going for five, three, two, one, and there you go. That's a simple drill you wanna keep incorporating into uh, pieces of your work just because it's going to keep you, well, it'll keep you mindful of your pedal stroke as well. Okay, just a few minutes here, easy, and we're going to get into what I call plan B. Plan B, we've all been there, we've all had it. Things don't go that well or they're not going to plan. Plan A, of course, being where you perfectly follow all the tips and cues that we've talked about and you're with your friends, you exceed your expectations, all of those kinds of things. Plan B is where something happens that we're missing a big component and we have to reset. Resetting is a big, big part of any athletic endeavor. Any of you who have been athletes um, in another sport will know that. So an example of a reset just being you, well, sometimes as simple as your legs just aren't cooperating, but it can also be, in this case, we're going to use an unplanned stop, okay? And this came from talking to one of our athletes, uh, everything going to plan, drops the bottle early on, okay? Now, what's the decision there? We're in a 90K ride, 90K Fondo, uh, or plus even more, even less. Do we leave our bottle and hope for the best? No, bad idea, okay? We're going to stop and get it. But we've gone into the event, we've been perfectly according to plan, this happens, and so what next? Now one of the things, if something like this happens early in your ride, you may be riding with a bunch of people, but if there's lots of other people in the group, your friends may not notice, right? That often happens when there's sort of the cluster. Later on, you're watching out for each other, you know where each other are. Sometimes when we're early on, you don't know maybe where everyone is. You've got a plan, you're hoping to make sure you connect at a certain point, but we're not there yet. So there's a reason you see all those, when you watch the big races, you see all those same color jerseys together. It's part of keeping an eye on each other knowing if people are having any issues and communicating about what's coming up. And that can be very often about feeding, okay? Very often, I'm out of something, do you have some, okay? So in this case, we're gonna drop our bottle, we're going to stop for a minute, do a quick pickup, and then we're going to continue from there, trying to adjust and hopefully find some of the plan that we went into it with, okay? So we're gonna start in one minute. I want you to have a sip of water before you drop your bottle. <laughs> okay, we are going to start with our regular start. Four minutes, 60%, little accelerations, which is gonna build a bit of fatigue, into a hill, three minutes long, 75%, all perfectly executed. Two minutes on a downhill, around your 50%, high cadence, and then you hit a little bit of bumpy road, drop your bottle, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, Spotify list. If you guys are using my list, I do try and modify it each week. So anywhere, sort of pass the first 15 minutes, get some good tunes on or use your own, and here we go. Preferred cadence, remember, 
You're playing with that. You're at 60%. We're going into the first four minutes. <clears throat> Off the line, conversational pace, worrying about our position, our safety. Nothing happening for the first little bit. We managed to roll out in a nice, comfortable part of the group where we want it to be. Legs are feeling good, 60%. As you know, more of an endurance effort. This might be one of those events where they have a group of riders that pace set in the beginning. They do that in the Penticton Fondo. <clears throat> they do that in the Tour de Victoria. In the Whistler Ground Fondo, they put a car on the front and sometimes go 45k an hour. So that's a different scenario. <laughs> okay, little accelerations coming up. These are five to 10 RPM. We're just moving around. You're into this four minutes with a minute plus under your belt. In two, one, little acceleration, five to 10 RPM. Just repositioning, keeping yourself with the flow. Nicely done. Just moving ourselves around. Back to your preferred cadence. And back to your 60%. Good. Hold it right here. Those little movements and accelerations. You don't want to make them too radical. You're, maybe you're with your colors. You're with your tribe. One of your more experienced tribe are moving up or moving to a different side of the group and you're following along. All right. Moving to different sides can be to do with an upcoming corner, a change in wind, a lot of things. A little acceleration again. Up, up, five to 10 RPM. Go with your leader. Awesome. Nice and lively. Moving your bike where you want it to be. And back into position. Settling down. Settling down. One minute to go like this. Remember one event. Riding with a posse from here, from Tech, and one of the women took a little route around, a roundabout, perfectly allowed, just saw the left opening up, we followed, and you get a nice little scoop of positions without a lot of effort. One last one for that, let's follow around the roundabout, up, up. Awesome job, come on. Just a quick one. We're into the hill in 20 seconds. Coming up. Bring it back down to your 60%. And here we go. Nudging into the bottom of the climb. Five seconds, 75% about there. Climbing cadence, 80 RPM. I am giving you a Reference here in two, one, and we're on the hill. Come on. Starting into it in a good position with your group. You have some of your colors around you. <clears throat> Keeping an eye on everyone. Good job. Settle into this. We're not trying to push it too ballistically hard. We're working more to be where we want to be for our plan A. Remember, we're still on plan A. <sighs> okay, so relax shoulders, pushing at around our hour power. Light hands, soft elbows. Good job, guys. One minute into the hill. No accelerations, no 
unnecessary effort. If you would like to change it up a bit, you're comfortable with your standing in a group, you might take a few pedal strokes, standing on the pedals, keep the momentum of the bike moving forward. This is just a change up to get on your gear, halfway through the hill, take it back down, 80 RPM is where we are. Our power effort is where we are, but only for another 75 seconds, okay? We're gonna crest the top of this into our downhill, into our downhill. Have another sip of water, because you won't be wanting to take your hands off the handlebars on the downhill, which is coming up in less than a minute. Hey, good job. Relax, eyes up. You're comfortably positioned. You have some of your colors around you. You've planned to meet or make sure you're all together after the downhill on the flat somewhere. For right now, you guys are riding at your own pace and trying to be as comfortable as you can early in this big ride. All right, almost at the crest. Taking it up and around. Coming up to our last 10 seconds. Awesome job, guys, come on. Right over the crest, there's the crest. Rolling into the downhill. Three, two, back the gear off. High cadence on the downhill. Round 100 RPM. Recovering, recovering. Now, my thought in this plan B workout was modeled partly on one of our Fondos in BC, Penticton. I'm down to downhill. There's definitely some fast sections. There's definitely some bumpy road and corners. Now, of course, we all checked our bikes thoroughly. Maybe some of us took it to a bike mechanic expecting that it would be perfect. Now that always happens. Check your own bike before an event. All right, you can blame them, but it doesn't take it away. And if something happens, <clears throat> they're not gonna hear about it till much later after you suffered through it. So, Radley Bottle Cage. You're wondering what on earth hit a little bit of a bump. We're still flying down this hill. We're still well in position. We're still on plan B. Awesome job, guys. Okay, we're gonna have an actual Stop the legs for a few seconds. You can humor me, or you can ride super easily through it in 10 seconds. Here we go. Bottle out of the cage, drops on the ground. A few moments, what do I do? Okay, thinking you're just gonna ride on, and then your smart voice comes in, like no, I gotta go back and get that I got a long way before an aid station. Okay, so we're gonna get back, scoop back. Maybe someone brings it up to you. Stranger things have happened. 30 seconds. You see your colors riding away. You see your people that are all in your plan A riding away. You've got your bottle back. Now you're figuring out what to do. It's early on. The groups aren't far up the road. Let's try and minimize that damage as quickly as we can. We want to be with people. We don't want to be getting in a sad place now and riding on our own, all right, until people start to fall off. Take charge. Here we go. We've got our bottle back. 
and we're going to lock in to a three minute chase we can see a group in the distance but we gotta push preferred cadence 80 percent ish 80 to 85 and here we go come on push push this is you making an effort to reconnect and set the plan straight okay get after it be positive pushing into the pedals you can see when you've fallen off early on and you are with a faster group the people you start to come up on first will be probably quite a bit slower than you all right but does that mean it's not helpful to see them to jump in for a bit absolutely not we're going to just make our way up leapfrog all right almost halfway through this effort we're going a lot faster than that little group ahead of us <clears throat> there plan a had a different character than ours good job just over a minute still hold on to this not easy you're putting out the effort now to fix it you'll reap the benefits later by having a group again all right one minute come on push push stay relaxed 60 seconds watch your breathing eyes up stay on task come on push push less than a minute now we call this bridging a gap you're bridging the gap by going faster than the people ahead of you and they're right there 30 seconds come on less than 30 you're gonna get a few wheels a little bit of a break 20 to go awesome job guys come on stay with it stay with it we're just snagging on to the back of the group you're gonna take a little break in three two on the group 50 percent recover recover you're riding you're riding their pace now but I'm not gonna stay here we know it's way behind our plan we're trying to leapfrog our way back up hey okay? good job you're gonna move your way through these people you have your bottle now remember you're gonna have a drink and then you're going to make another push preferred cadence 80 to 85 percent you can see another little posse up the road if someone comes with you that's fine but I think they're a lot slower than you so we're just worrying about our own game in two one up up come on push it up <clears throat> you choose your cadence it's a big push <clears throat> don't even worry about looking behind you you could feel someone tried to come with you but it's above their capability which is why they're here they weren't on your plan good job 20 more seconds and we have a minute under our belt well into it focus up the road use those carrots come on use it awesome get into your head a little bit think about the rhythm think about the turnover
And you can see that group ahead of you looking like they're a little closer. Play with your gears, much as you need. 80 to 85 percent. Come on, halfway. We're pulling them in. We're pulling them in. Awesome job. Stay with it. Stay with it. Once we get up to them, another little break. Use your cadence. Use your determination. Trained hard for this. You worked hard. One minute, okay? Awesome job. Groups right there, right up ahead. You're gonna use those wheels again. You can see they're still slower than you want. You're gonna leapfrog. Another time, okay? Hold this push though, hold on. Drive this little single locomotive. Another 30 seconds, right till you're snug. Come on guys, less than 30. Coming right up to it. Awesome job. 15 seconds. Really good, come on. Snug right in there when we get there. Just for a few seconds, we start moving through. In five, three, two, and sit in. Keep the legs turning. Nice turnover. Recover, recover. Leapfrogging, remember? Good job. Okay. 2016 Olympics. One of our top women who was expected to be a gold medal contender. She crashed the first minute and a half. <laughs> and she drove that bus further and further up the line. It got harder and harder as she was meeting her peers, but she ended up in a sprint for the bronze medal and she got it. And she said, I was not going to let my plan change that much. Okay, leapfrogging again. More gear. Three, two, one. Come on. Next group. Here we go. Might be someone else in the group you just hit that had a similar situation to you. Maybe they'll come with you, but you're not worried about it. Right now, you're on your own power. You're pushing this through. Awesome job. Holding on to it. Holding on to it. Just keep that rhythm. Keep your sights forward. Running it down. This is where my favorite Queen song, another one bites the dust. <laughs> Think about catching people, going past them. You've got two more minutes. It's an estimation. You can see them ahead. Okay, you're gonna be at halfway soon. This time, this time, it's a faster group. It's a good chance they're going to want to get into the mix. You're coming in, all full of ambition and goals. You can become the leader of this next group. Put some fire under everyone. All right, you're coming up to them. Just over a minute. Try and be smooth. Don't get anxious, you know you're picking them off. This leapfrogging is working well. You're gonna be one more minute and they're right there, okay? Come on guys, come on. Eyes on the prize. 
It's getting closer. You're starting to see colors in that group. You know you might ride around. You've got less than 30 seconds in this push. Come on. Come on. Right into it. Right into it. Play with your cadence. A little bit more. A little bit less. You want more gear? 15 seconds. We're going to be in the back of that group. Okay? And 10. Come on, everyone. Last little bit now. Three, two, in the group. Take a bit of a break. 50% though. You're riding. You're riding. Little sip of water. Remembering, you're happy you got your bottle. Hey, you brought someone along with you from the other group. They're motivated. The new people are motivated. So you're going to encourage a little pace line to move forward. One last time. You can see all your full colors are up ahead. All your team, people you want to be riding with, but you don't want to have to do it on, on your own if you don't need to. These guys around you and girls, people are happy to help now. You're going to give one little direction, piece of encouragement, and on the front. Take it to the front. 45 seconds, 85%. Come on, bring it up. Bring it up. Nice, easy, tur even turns. Not easy, sorry. Even turns. You set the tone. 45 seconds. Bringing that pace up. People are looking to you for some leadership. All right, they're ready to go through. Two, one, signal. And you're getting on the back of the people working. 70%. Remember, your pull hasn't finished till you're back on the wheels. Okay? 70%. Still feels hard. You're on the wheels though now. Good job. And these riders are showing good momentum and motivation. You're the last rider of the people doing the chasing. Someone else is pulling off on the front. You're gonna roll into the happy place. Two, one, 50 to 60% in the middle. Recover, recover. Play with your gears here. You've got riders driving up front. You're keeping the energy. You're going to go through for your next turn. You've got another minute almost. Before you're back on the front. Good job. Moving up into second position now. All right, still 50 to 60. Sitting snug. Sitting snug. One rider on the front. One rider on the front. 30 seconds. Your pull is coming up. Your people here at the front in the pace line all have the same idea. Get up there a little bit more. There's a hill coming up as well. So we're using the flats here. And your first rider is pulling off. They're giving the signal. You're going through 45 seconds. Two, one, come on. Up, up. Don't bog down. Easier gear. 
If you're in too low a cadence right now, come on, push it. 30 seconds. Driving this little bus, keeping the speed up. You're on the front. Awesome job. Come on. 50 more seconds. You're going to signal. Come on. Remember, it's still hard getting on the back. In five. Signal on the back. Take your 45 seconds. Get to the back quickly. And then sit there. Recover. Recover. Awesome. Come on, guys. Come on. You're on the back now. It's starting to appease a bit. People have come along with your little posse, but you're just slotting in nicely. That's okay. Aerodynamics, there's still a little bit more advantage. Speed of the group by having more people in five. You're nudging up to the middle. Two, one, 50 to 60%. This is where you're really, really, really trying to recover. Nice cadence. <clears throat> awesome, guys. Awesome, guys. Okay, 30 seconds. We have a minute to go. Last turn through. What we're gonna be thinking of is that there's a hill that we can just jump across to our people right at the end. We can see them closing in. Couple of our friends have actually, I think they turned around, saw you at the front the last time, waiting. Trying to give you some encouragement by being at the back of their group. <clears throat> Can't tell everyone to stop because they're with a lot of other people as well. And you have a posse, so it's all good. 20 seconds, they're gonna see you on the front again. Another pull, we're getting towards the end. Good job. Come on, stay focused, stay focused. You're getting the signal from the front rider. They're coming off in two, one. Come on, bring that speed up again. Push it, push it. Awesome, are you just focusing on getting across now? Done such a good job. Halfway through this turn on the front, halfway through this turn. Come on guys, almost at 15 seconds. 15, come on. Remember your turn's not gonna finish till the back. Stay with it for now though. Last few seconds on the front. Three, two, signal. Let's get to the back, quickly as we can. Quickly as we can. Give yourself about 15 seconds. You've backed out of the pedals a bit. Oh, good job. On the back. Another time for a drink. Good job. <clears throat> Last rider in your pace line group. About a minute and a half. They're taking you. Almost across now. <clears throat> Almost across. Keep this 50 to 60%. You have one hard hill going into the hill. And that is where you're going to make your catch. <clears throat> Back with your team. Back with plan A in one minute. Your teammates, when you're up there, 
will recognize you've made a big effort, <laughs> help you get a bit more of a break. But there's one more, one more. In just over 30 seconds, we're hitting the bottom of the hill. We're gonna bring it up for three minutes. Within that three minutes, I'm gonna give you a push <coughs> over the top, okay? Not a minute added on. It'll be close to a minute at the end, All right? Here we go. Pushing into the hill, climbing cadence, 80. Bring that gear up as you feel the gear, as you feel the hill, in two, one, come on. At least two minutes like this. Seated, standing, you just get up this piece of work. Awesome, come on. Push it, turn it over, turn it over. 30 seconds in. I know for myself, I will probably stand here for a bit. Standing, back to seated. Standing, back to seated. Depending on the grade, but it's fairly steep. Fairly steep. Come on guys, hold that gear around. One minute of three. You've done one minute of three, come on. Here we go. Another solid minute, just the same, just the same. Holding that 85%-ish climbing cadence, 80, come on. Put in so much work. One of your teammates is at the back of the front group just encouraging you, dropping back a little bit to help you. Halfway through the three minutes. Come on, guys. Come on. All the way. Let's make it. Seal the deal here. Up on the pedals. If it helps you. Almost at two. Come on, guys. Last minute. Coming up. Get a hold of it. Take yourself back down. Get your rhythm. Come on. There's the crest. You don't want them to get on the downhill. Too far ahead of you. You want to be there resting. All right? If you can now, more cadence. Don't bog down. 30 seconds to go. Come on. Up, up. Right over the top with everybody. 20. Come on. Push, push. 15. You're there. 10. Take it over the top. Here we go. Five. Three, two, one, on the downhill. Recover. Good job. <clears throat> awesome. Now, sooner you can get on to plan B, the better. Obviously, one of the things you see sometimes in the big races, someone has a crash, bike isn't working, but they <coughs> jump on anyway, just to minimize the catching they have to do. Team car comes up. This isn't pro racing, of course. Team car comes up, change the bike or teammate <coughs> might also, if they're lesser ranked, might come and give you their bike <coughs> so you don't lose time. But 
the main lesson is get on it don't lose hope think about what to do next and plan B can still come back to plan A especially if you don't panic and you use these skills <coughs> the best you can to bring it all back together so for those of you watching our channel please subscribe it helps us to prompt you when we're doing new stuff and it's just like a follow and uh, if you like what we do give us a like if you don't tell me why <laughs> I will try to use that in my future sessions okay so for the video that's a wrap